<laughs> Just when you think he's defending Samsung quite a bit, isn't he? That's when I pull over and go right back into Apple Sheep Overdrive. And yeah, I'm here to tell you that the Magic Mouse 2, to be exact, does not exactly suck. It doesn't completely suck. In fact, it's my go-to mouse of choice for my day-to-day -day tasks. I am not saying this is a great mouse for everybody, and I'm by no means saying that this mouse is better than all of your other mice. But it makes sense for me, and I hope in today's video to explain as to why, but let's just get out of the way. Charging method is stupid, okay? Not defending that. I have a solution for it, but not gonna try to even for a minute defend that charging method. It's dumb. It's annoying. It needs to be addressed, and it's very stupid that they haven't done anything about it after all the memes we've made. But anyway, here's why the Magic Mouse 2 doesn't completely suck. <laughs> So I've read a lot of people's criticisms of the Magic Mouse, and I will also mention from the get-go, it's terrible for gaming. If you do any type of gaming on a Mac, first of all, wh why why on the Mac? But second of all, don't use the Magic Mouse, okay? It's already not a platform built for games, but a mouse that is inherently bad at gaming is the Magic Mouse, I completely agree. But what I find it super useful for is continuous needing of scrolling up and down and side to side while also moving your arm around. So if you guys haven't noticed, there's a lot of jump cuts in these videos. And no, it's not because I want to cut out every single breath I take. It's actually because I make so many mistakes in these videos that it takes me about four to eight days to film a single one, and then I cut out every single time I make a mistake. So when you're an imperfect imbecile like I am, when you're editing through your Final Cut Pro timeline, you have to constantly be looking at that dead air and quickly analyzing what takes are good and what takes are bad. Because I try to upload fairly consistently with my videos. I do like five to six videos a week, depending on how busy I get. I do try to upload quite a lot between this tech channel, my EV channel, and all of my other Talos of channels. And that involves me being very, very efficient with the editing process. And what I found is most efficient for scrubbing through a timeline that's going side to side. And when you're looking at footage to add in, you have to scroll up and down. But at the same time, you also need to be able to click and move your mouse around so you know exactly where to click simultaneously because you're scrolling through this timeline and you wanna make sure these cuts are made exactly where the audio levels approach. So what that means is my left hand is on the space bar and on a few hotkeys for final cuts, switching between just clicking and deleting and also, you know, pressing space bar to hear what I'm saying. And my other hand is preoccupied moving the mouse around so I can click exactly where I need to while simultaneously scrolling sideways. And this is what I actually love about the Magic Mouse. The fact that it's a very large touchpad, but it doesn't rely on that trackpad on top for the mouse movement. So I know there's a lot of people out there that love the Logitech MX Master Series. And I actually have tried those before. Back when I visited John Morrison's office, he let me edit several of my videos over there and he had the MX Master. I didn't see a magic mouse in sight and I didn't dare ask him for one. So I went ahead and tried to edit a video on one. And having two separate scroll wheels, I've discovered were not as fluid and not as efficient with that side scrolling and moving because that thumb scroll wheel could not move as dynamically as my pointer can when I have a large touch surface to swipe back and forth on. And don't get me wrong, that's a great mouse. And I think for a lot of people that mouse works perfectly. But for my workflow, which involves a lot of scrolling back and forth, and also once I select all of the cuts that I'm going to take out of my video, I have to very quickly click and delete every other clip that contains all of the mistakes I make in my video. So that means one hands on the delete key, the other one scrolling side to side and also clicking. And you can't really replicate that very well with the MX Master. You can a little bit, but the thumb with that tiny little wheel cannot scroll as dynamic dynamically as it can with that giant touch surface that the Magic Mouse has that I really haven't found replicated very much on other mice. I haven't messed around much with other mice because these are the ones that come with my iMac, you know, and they work perfectly. And I want to also admit that a lot of people's personal preferences, the things they grew up with, are the things they are used to. So I know there's a ton of people out there that say the Magic Mouse is not ergonomic or it doesn't feel comfortable, it feels too slippery, it feels too small. Well, I'm guessing you probably just didn't have that a lot when you were growing up. That's my prediction. I could be totally wrong, but the people that I've discovered don't like the Magic Mouse are people that grew up with a different sized mouse or a different shape mouse. And I, at the young ripe age of 21, when I was growing up, the Magic Mouse is pretty much the mouse I learned to use my computer with the most. And I started out back with the Magic Mouse 1, the one that actually had double A's and like a metal plate you had to remove. And I like the ergonomics of it, and I love being able to have so much flexibility between side scrolling and scrolling up and down, but I hated having to change the batteries 
so often. So as much crap as the Magic Mouse 2 gets, honestly, I would rather have that stupid charging method than replace my batteries because there's almost nothing around the house anymore that I need to keep around batteries for. Just like the thermostat, which takes triple A's, and the... Uh, I think that's it. I am honestly blanking. I can't think of anything else that I need to replace batteries in. The TV remote, which is also triple A's. But anyway, back in the day when we had to swap out the batteries more often than we wanted to, we would have to make sure we had a stock of double A somewhere. And I would much rather just get the little notification on macOS that says, hey, mouse battery is getting kind of low. And then when you're done working for that day, I just plug it in with the lightning cable. Yes, in that very stupid fashion, it looks incredibly dumb, but it saves me a trip to the store. I don't have to pick up batteries and then by the time I'm ready to start working again, it's charged up to 100%. And I use my computer quite a bit, you know? I'm editing videos five to six days a week for hours and hours on end, and I've only had to charge my Magic Mouse once every about six weeks, okay? So it's not even a once a month thing, which to me, as annoying as it may be and as stupid as it may look, something I have to do once every six weeks, it's really not that bad. Especially given I just remember to plug it in as soon as I get the notification that says battery's getting kind of low. That just reminds me, okay, before I wrap up, today I'm gonna make sure to plug it in the next day it'll be fine and I have also tried the magic trackpad I've seen a few people recommend that to me because it's basically taking the trackpad the MacBook Pro has and putting it on to you know a desktop setup and while you do have that flexibility of being able to scroll up and down and side to side and there's lots of cool gestures you can do on the trackpad it doesn't allow you to move the actual mouse cursor while simultaneously being able to scroll you have to kind of choose one or the other it's pretty difficult to you know be doing side scrolling up and down and also move the mouse because that trackpad, you know, it, it's fixed. Your pointer moves around the mouse and then you have to use two fingers to scroll stuff side to side. So the Magic Mouse can actually do both of those things, which I really like. So being able to go side to side and also move the mouse. So I'm utilizing my fingers in these controls on the computer while also utilizing my wrist and my arm motions by moving the mouse around. Not to mention I'm also able to click all in one fluid motion. I've tried lots of other mice and I haven't been able to replicate that experience on other ones. That's actually why I own two magic mice, one for the Mac mini, one for the iMac. I know this is probably depressing to a lot of people, but hey, the charging method, while it is stupid, I actually think it would be very, very easy to switch it over to just being Qi charging. Now, Apple probably does not want to ship a Qi charger with every single magic mouse or iMac that comes with one, so I kind of get why they haven't done it yet, but it's a hundred dollar mouse. You know, it's already kind of insanely overpriced. Why not push it a little bit higher anyway? Because I've got a ton of Qi chargers and the magic mouse is like the exact perfect size. So at least make it an option at checkout, okay, Apple? You don't have to include a Qi charger, but if at checkout we could select an option that's like, hey, don't include a lightning cable, okay? I've got way too many of those. Just switch it over to being a Qi charger. And I've also seen a lot of mice out there that actually like gain power from a smart like mouse pad, which is popular in the gaming community because it means the mouse is a lot smaller. It's still wireless, but it just kind of gets a Qi charge off of the mouse pad that you're moving it around on. I would love if Apple did something like that, so that way you could just have the mouse pad plugged in and that charges the mouse. Even though there's no battery, I know, it's like just like a lifetime power transfer, but anyway, there's definitely better methods of charging they could come up with. So that's why I'm not saying the Magic Mouse is great, I'm just saying the Magic Mouse doesn't completely suck, okay? I have a use case for it. I don't expect everyone out there to have the same use case as me, in fact, quite the opposite, I'm sure. Barely any of you can relate to the situation I'm in, but that's why the Magic Mouse makes sense to me. I grew up with it, and to me, it's perfectly ergonomic. I don't find it slippery or too small or anything like that because I didn't grow up with any other type of mice. That's the one I'm used to. So that just feels like the default to me. And when I switch to other mice, it just feels kind of bulky and weird. And having two scroll wheels that can't, you know, dynamically switch back and forth as much as my magic mouse does. That's why I like it. You know, sue me. Don't sue me, please. I can't afford it right now. Anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense to you. Are there any magic mouse fans out there that also feel neglected and oppressed? Feel free to hit me up on Twitter or join my Discord if you feel that way, this is definitely your Apple Sheep here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.